guys happy weekend well it's weekend now um and we are trying to do something fun a friend of ours actually invited us to a barbecue it's a little chilly today but you know i figure why not what the mac and cheese all right let me see so i don't know i have a little dilemma because when it was just, when it used to just be me and my husband, it was just like easy to just pick up and go. But now that we have kids, it's like, oh my God, what if they don't like the food? What if uh, they get hungry on the way there? What if, there's all these what ifs. So I don't know. I mean, it may seem kind of weird or even rude to like bring food to a party. I don't know. I don't know what the etiquette is these days. But anyway, I decided to make a little something. That way I know they're not going to have any issues with it. And I certainly won't have one either because I'm a very picky eater myself. Oh, I didn't close the door. Okay. I didn't close the door apparently. So, so we are off. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay, so the question is, is it weird to like make your own food and bring it to someone's house that you don't really know? Is that weird? I don't know. I hope not. I hope they understand. Well, my friend says they do, so we'll see. Because I know that, um, you know, we have kids that may or may not, you know, like what's going on. And, and she has five kids. Yeah, she does. She's my friend from back in the day. We go, but it's not her house. If it was her house, it's different because I'm like, oh, girl, all right, this is what we're going to do. And I know, you know, you know her style and everything, but it's like more like, a relative of I guess her in-laws or something like that yeah. which is fine you know but like I said if it was just me and him it's like oh we find something we gonna we gonna we gonna do it but you know with kids it's like ooh, what's yeah what's the deal so what say you honey what say Tell you me about what? do you think it's weird they're not gonna think it's weird right we read mommy's special mac and cheese. Yeah, I made special mac and cheese. Well, that's what we call it. Maybe other people call it um, just mac and cheese. Yeah, they call it special mac and cheese because it's not like, you know, the box. <laughs> I made it from scratch. It's I wish I could say I made the pasta from scratch, but that's not the case. It's special because because it has, it has so much cheese on it and you put it in a bowl like a different kind of bowl that it's like a big like it's a kind of like a, a hot lunch tray but it yeah yeah and it's you baked put, and, you put and it's the, yummy and I have actually have the recipe I actually have the recipe on the blog too <laughs> My mac and, and it's super good yes it is it is all right so we're gonna see how this goes it's a little cool for a barbecue but you know, we, we kind of make it work. And it's early for barbecue. It's, no. me, it's, it's only May 6th. I know. But some people do, you know. It's actually not bad. It's a nice, cool day, but we're going closer to the water, and that tends to be a little bit chillier. So we're just going to have to kind of make it work. I don't know. I get cold easily. You know, I was going to bring a shawl. What's a shawl? Something to cover up, although I already have something kind of you know, warm. Somebody's salty. Now she's filming. Yeah. It, I'm why not, you I'm, not, I'm not in the I'm not in film mode. I don't really want to be filmed. Is it because I'm I didn't, not on right now. I'm not. Is it because I didn't leave you gas? No, it's because I just don't feel like hamming it up for the camera or whatever they call it. <laughs> not in the, He's not ready. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna make him ready. Maybe it's because I didn't leave enough gas, or maybe it's just like a really wacky day, but we're gonna check back in, boo. Okay! Oh, guys! <laughs> How are you doing back there, buddy? Oh. <laughs> he's done, and he said he's not gonna take a nap. And it it hasn't like even been two is. minutes. Now he's trying to go to sleep. It's like he's... Okay, he's done. Hey, wait. I'm just want to get him. Hold on. I'll see if I can get him. Hold on. Just stand back to the tank. Stand back? Yeah, stand back. Yeah, the fish get... 
Oh, he's gonna try and get him out of this thing? No, no, no. I'll let him like crawl. I said you're making friends with the fishy. What? How does the like the the fish that like pops out? How does it pop out? The fish that pops. Oh, the blowfish. Yeah. When they get scared, it's like a, it's a defense mechanism. So if they're trying to protect themselves, they make themselves bigger. Well, how do they get scared? If somebody like bombs you them, you can't or, tap on the screen. Yeah, if you tap on it, um, if you stick your hand in there and splash all around. It'll get a little nervous, but these fish, they get along perfectly together. Oh, good. They don't eat each other, right? Some fish, like, I heard from I some fish that, oh. Daddy's coming. Oh, are you going to physically take him out? No. no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You see the starfish all on the tank? Yeah, beautiful. Oh, my gosh. That looks dangerous. The puffin fish puffed up. I got a picture. Oh, my system, right? Uh-oh. Well, little puffin fish will go for this guy. Look. Oh, no, 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 he looks scared. <laughs> You're so cute. Is he is he happy or upset? Oh no, he's he just he's got bad eyesight. Oh, oh okay, okay. Come on, stupid. Oh, oh. oh he'll come up and try to get you. Look hand. at him, they're going wild. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here, here he goes. There he is. He got it. Oh. Okay. okay, look. Wait, wait, hey, look. Hey, look. You see him coming out? Where come is he? Out. He's right there. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. Oh, I see his little face back there. Wow. Where is Let me get it over. I'll get it. I can't see the girl in front of the Oh, there he Oh, no, that's not it. I see the little head coming out. Where? Where? You gotta stand back. If you don't stand back, he's not gonna come out. Oh, I see it. Stand him. Come back. Congratulations. Come on. Here, I'll tell you. You want to watch him grab it? Watch, watch it. These are Kevin's babies, huh? Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh. You see him grab it? Yeah. yeah. Who's going to win? I don't really want to get to this. I have never paid any of my toys. Now, it's set. Go, 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 go. You did great. <laughs> He's gonna let you win. Oh. Hey guys, so today is the big day. Yeah, yesterday was fun, you know, everything worked out uh, with the food and everything. I, I was kind of like, are they going to think we're weird, like, bringing <laughs> stuff? But I think it worked out. They were really sweet about it, which I appreciate. Because when you have picky eaters, you know, it's, it, it's, it's tough. You know, you want your kids to be happy and whatever. So I probably stayed a little too late last night. I got home and... Now it's the big day, the big race, and we just have to kind of wait and see how things play out. I did have kind of a lot to eat and my stomach is feeling kind of queasy, but maybe it's just nerves. I didn't eat, but I brought my, my oatmeal with me. We have a little over an hour. We're starting to close off all the roads now and people are starting to come in. Parking lot is getting a little busy, which, you know, it's just a sign that we are closer to the race. One girl forgot to, well, she didn't forget, but she didn't register yesterday. She didn't pick up her bib. I feel so bad for her. Um, but yeah, my bib is right here, right here. And um, so I'm really excited. Oh, I'm just gonna keep it cool right now. I have everything I need. See how this goes. I'll check in with you. Uh, check my progress. This should be really interesting. Hey guys. Hey. I did it. I finished. I don't think I met my goal. I think I missed it about maybe a minute or two, but that's okay. I feel great. I'm glad I got it done.
and now I'm trying to look for my family. They said they're around here somewhere. I must have missed them on the on the trail. <laughs> but I'm just so excited to have accomplished the half marathon. So thanks so much guys for following me along on this journey. Uh, if you ever decide <laughs> to do it, just make sure you train and you stay on top of it and you set your goal. I mean, it, it's really not important about the timing and everything. The important thing is that you set a goal, you just finish it. You just go through and just finish the race. My time was um, at, like two hours and like 20, a little over 20 minutes. And last year I did 220. So I didn't make my goal, but God, I'm like all sweaty. But I did good. How are the kids? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the stage, just sit back. Why are you? Why are you? I'm liking the crayon. Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah. So, what did you guys do this morning? Yeah, we have to now go to dance because you have, um, well, have pictures. Yeah, you have pictures that you have to take. We so we have to come right back. That? It's at 2. So we got to get there for 1.45. I look Oh, yeah, really... I heard the... I heard the... Um, well, well, um... You heard the teacher say that? How How were the kids? Good. Oh. Let's some pancakes. Oh. Pancakes. And it's like I'm not hungry. I should be starving, but yeah. I'm like I I wanted to crush it. I was like I was a good pace. I was like okay, I could do this in under 220. Mm -hmm. Then I would make my goal. And I'm like oh, I started started getting real tired. Wait, did Miss uh, Carmen do it? I don't know, honey. You I, took a nap where? I'm in my bed. I oh, I thought we y'all were in the car. Yeah. I was like I wonder if they're gonna try and come to. Y'all didn't to see you for 10 seconds. Uh, hey, how you doing? And then you go, like, okay, I'm really early to do it. I know, some people do and they hold up signs and stuff and then they'll get back in their cars and then they'll go to another spot. But it's hard when you have all these road closures and then you have two small kids and then, you know, especially a three-year-old, but they do it. They got babies in the stroller and they'll go to one meeting spot and then they're like, hey, they have their signs woohoo and they cheer you on and then they go on to the next spot and then they but it's a lot it's a lot but um and then it's like what if i what if you guys come and i miss you or something like that yeah. so what if they're throwing fits huh what if they're cranky and yeah up? i guess if O'Shea had his thomas and he had his toys maybe he'll be fine but I'm good. Hey, you know, we have enough people cheering us. I mean, as long as you guys meet us. And Look at this, maybe. Mommy. Yeah. I added a bow to my cat. Oh, nice. Oh. So it's ear safe. Oh, nice. Because cool. I found it in here. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. So now we have to get you dressed for dance. Yeah. Thank God I made dinner yesterday. So it's all leftovers. I'm not cooking. Don't ask me for nothing, because I'm going to be resting. I'm so... But I feel good. I don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm going to collapse. Like I did the first year. First year, I like almost... They were like, are you okay? Are you okay? And that was only, uh, 10 and that was only 10K. That was like six miles. But, you know, granted, I, you know, had just given birth. and Well, not just given birth, but, you know, she was just like a year old. And my body was not where it should be. I didn't train. I just went out there and did it. And that was not a good time. I'm not the type's gotta have someone. I'm not the type's gotta be in love. I had a lot of people come 